Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a custom domain name for your API gateway in AWS. Let's start by searching for Lambda on the AWS console, then hit create function. Give your function a name, select a runtime, then click on create function. In the code source section, click on test, then give your test event a name. Hit save, then click on test again to test your Lambda function. Go back to the AWS console and this time search for API Gateway. Click on Create API, then hit Build in the HTTP API section. Select Lambda from the Integrations dropdown, then choose the Lambda function that we just created. Give your API a name then hit next. I'm going to select get from the method dropdown and leave everything else to default. Click on the invoke URL and add the resource path at the end. Looks like our Lambda function is being invoked as expected. Go back to the API gateway and this time click on custom domain names. Hit create, then specify a custom domain name. Scroll down, then click on create a new ACM certificate. Hit request, then enter a fully qualified domain name. I'm going to leave the validation method to DNS, then click on request. Click on view certificate, then push the create records in route 53 button. Click on create records, then navigate to the hosted zone of the domain in route 53. You should see a new CNAME record that got created by the previous verification step. Go back to the certificate manager and wait until the verification status of this certificate changes to success. Go to the API gateway window and select the new certificate from the dropdown. Click on create domain name, then select the API mapping tab. Push the Configure API Mappings button, then click on Add New Mapping. Select your API and stage, then hit Save. Click on the Configurations tab to check your API Gateway domain name because we'll need it in the next step. Go back to the Route 53 window and click on Create Record. I'm going to select Simple Routing, then hit Next. Click on Define Simple Record and enter a subdomain. I'm going to leave the record type to A, then select alias to API Gateway API from the dropdown. Choose your region and your API Gateway endpoint should automatically get populated. Note your API Gateway endpoint is different than the invoke URL. If you end up specifying the invoke URL instead of the API Gateway endpoint, you'll run into SSL certificate verification errors. Click on define simple record, then hit the create records button. Click on view status and wait for the status to change to in sync. Navigate to your custom domain name followed by the resource path and your Lambda function from the first step should get invoked as expected. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.